Hey everybody, Dom here. In this video, we're going to talk about the outlook of iOS or Android developers versus web developers. So, uh, a subscriber of mine uh, popped the question, I guess you could say. Well, and he asked, uh, you know, I'm in school, I'm really passionate about iOS development, you know, but uh, I also, you know, am thinking about learning web development. And the reason for making this video is I just wanted to answer it in a video format because I do believe that this is a question that's going to be answered by a lot of people. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to answer it based on the current job market and what I've seen, you know, being both a full stack developer and a iOS developer slash mobile developer, right? So we're going to first talk about the current job market and then we're going to also talk about the, you know, future and the past and stuff like that because, to be honest, it doesn't really matter because it's been the same to be, for the most part except the only thing that's really have changed is the amount of entry-level uh, positions that are out there, right? So in terms of demand, right, web developers will always be in more demand because from a business perspective, you know, uh, web developers are cheaper to cheaper in terms of cost, and they're more plentiful, and they serve more needs than uh, iOS or mobile developer, right? Because you think about it, what problems uh, can a website solve? A website can solve a whole bunch of problems, right? It can solve, you know, a big thing for small businesses is getting customers, right? Uh, another thing that a website can do or a web app is, you know, display different things because, you know, a lot of people are nowadays are on their phones and they're on Safari or they're on Chrome if they're on Android. So they are still going to use the mobile web. And that's where a web developer comes in. Here's the thing, right? During, uh, around like, I'd say the early days of the App Store, is when everyone was going crazy about apps. You know, you had Angry Birds, you had Flappy Bird, you had all these different type of games and apps and stuff like that. But nowadays in 2023, what you're seeing is a lot of these, uh, a lot of these apps are taken by the big companies, right? So what I'm gonna, so if you look at the App Store right now, uh, I don't have my phone here with me, so I can't really show you. But if you look at the top apps, they're from big tech companies, right? You don't see the random Angry Birds or Flappy Bird like you did see back in like, you know, 2015, 2014, 2013, right? So uh, the amount of indie game developers, for example, has really decreased over the past couple years. And now it's been replaced by, you know, these big companies with large followings with big products that, you know, are taking over basically the app store, right? So as a result, if you're a small business, right? Unless you see a need for the phone's hardware, then you're most likely going to only need to want to create a mobile app or not a mobile app, but a web app because it's cheaper and more useful, right? Whereas if you're a big tech company, you got the budget, you got different types of products, maybe you can invest some resources into that Whereas, oh, or maybe if you're, say, a camera company, then you might want to invest in, uh, you know, mobile platforms. Another thing that uh, could also take into consideration is your interests, right? So let's say my interest was in VR and AR, so artificial reality and virtual reality, right? So VR check was big back in the day, you know, uh, meta platforms is kind of getting big now kind of I don't think it serves a need but that's a different question for that's a different topic for another day right so if you're interested in those ones then yes become a mobile developer and specialize because when I put that on my LinkedIn I do get a lot of responses for roles that require AR and VR right so it depends on that right but overall to get to the point of this video if you're just looking for a job, right, do web development. I know web development's kind of boring and, you know, it's a very crowded, it has a lot of people doing it and you really need to stand out, but that's just the name of the game, right? So, it 
Another thing is, it really depends on your goals as well, right? Do you want a job, right? If you want a job, then I'd go with uh, full stack development just because there's more jobs, more employers, more opportunity out there. So that means if you roll the dice more times, you know, if you uh, roll the dice, you're probably more likely to get two sixes as opposed to if you had, uh, say, one die, then chances of you uh, going and rolling a six, well, that was a bad example, but chances of you rolling a six is going to be a lot less, right? So if you want a job, then you would want to learn web development, right? And I understand during this point in time that that is a big concern, right? But if you have a job right now, right? It pays you pretty decently, like my engineering job right now, and you're willing to wait for the right opportunity, then you can go after your passion. You can go after mobile development. You can take your time and develop expertise in that particular type of field, right? So at the end of the day, what you need to consider is what, what problem do you want to solve for uh, whatever business? What do your skill sets lie in? And you know what's going to be what's going to be the most complementary skills for that. That's another big factor, right? So I'll give you a perfect example, right? So even though I'm a mobile developer, my past is in ad tech, right? I was a digital marketing agency, so I did a lot of web stuff, right? If I wanted a job, then I would have gone after web development, but of course I don't really like it, so that's a different story for another day right but that's another thing what is your background right if you have a background say in trucking right maybe a mobile app could actually be a good idea because you know you understand the pains and the problems of being a trucker you being on the road all the time you know maybe a mobile app could help track uh i don't know i'm just making this stuff up because i'm not a trucker but let's say that you know you know that your company has been struggling with uh tracking the amount of mileage that you know these truckers go about so you can install a mobile app and you can more accurately do the whole time timeshare thing right so that's an example of solving a problem there so what you need to do is if you're not in a rush to get a job and you want the most ideal job for your particular scenario then what you want to consider is what problem do i want to solve for whatever industry that I want to do. Do I want to work in social? Do I want to work in ad tech? Do I want to work in uh, AR, AI, AI, right? VR. You have to determine what that is. But if you want any job, I do recommend web development. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if this was helpful. Leave me a comment down in the comment section below. Leave me a like if you thought this video was helpful. And Make sure to hit the subscribe button as it really helps support the channel and lets me know that you enjoy content just like this and encourages me to make more, of course. So, without further ado, I'll see you in the next video.